welcome to my channel. The huge ships encounters rough seas, bad weather and storms, when it sails out to sea with containers, so why don't these containers fall, let's find out the reason. Before that, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. There are 6 degrees of motion at the sea, that a ship may come across. However, pitching, heaving and rolling, are three major, forces that impact containers on a ship. While tilting on water is the greatest challenge for stacks of containers. If containers are to be carried safely on the deck of a container vessel, they must be tightly connected to the ship. This is done through the series of lashing systems, Container lashing is a process of securing containers together on the board of a ship. With increasing sizes of, ships and container capacities. Ships may have more than 14 rows of stacked over 8 tiers high. These piles of containers are connecting through a series of flashing systems. Which consists of following main tools. Twist lock, twist stacker, lashing rods turn buckles so what is container lashing and how it's performed? When containers are loaded on ship they are secured to the ship's structure, and the containers placed below them using twist locks, turn buckles, lashing rods, etc. All these tools prevent the container from moving and falling off the stacks. Containers are loaded on the deck, and under the deck of a ship. When containers are loaded on the ground of the ships, they are secured with cell guides, which are long vertical structure running top to bottom that prevent the containers from moving at the sea. Each container has four corner, castings wet to a stacker or twist locks are fitted and used to stack them with other containers. Whether from top or bottom, and from left or right side. Three oval shaped holes make it easy to join together. When all containers are loaded under deck. Hatch cover is placed over them to prevent them from water ingress. After the hatch cover is placed more containers are loading in the ship on their hatch covers. Each container is tagged above one another. With the help of two sided special double pins twist locks. These cone type pins are fixed into the four comers of the containers and turned 90 degrees to lock and secure with each other. This way containers are connected. The assigned ship crew must ensure that the twist lock are correctly fixed. So that container do not fall out even if one twist lock is not fixed properly who whole containers stack is at risk and may fall out. Once all the containers are loaded to the lashing bridge of the ship, with the help of flashing rods and turnbuckles. A lashing bridge long steel structure of the ship installed between hatches to permit the lossing of containers to it. The bridges can be up to 2 to 3 tiers high. Low tier containers are lashed with the help of short rods, and high tier containers are lashed with long rods. These rods are connected to the lashing bridges with the help of turn buckles, that tighten these rods and keep the container in place. The series of lashing rods prevents the containers from moving back and forth at the sea. Containers are lashed by port stevedores, they are usually responsible for lashing and delashing containers. Still, the ship crew and officers are equally responsible for ensuring that, lashing is done perfectly. Lashing of containers are regularly checked by the deck screw at sea and tightened, to avoid any bad weather situation or accidents. The loading plan is usually given to the ship before arrival to ensure that enough equipment is available to, lashing all the containers. So these are the reasons for save and sound deliver all over the globe, at the given time. In spite of all these magnificent measures, it doesn't mean that containers do not fall. It happens due to any technical fault, human error or any rough weather situation. Every year hundreds of containers falls from the ships and get lost in the mighty, sea. That's all, thank you. Please subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.